your whole body. So when your gut health is good, your whole body's good. Probiotics are microorganisms that will live in your gut and actually help to build up the good bacteria in your gut. So that's a good thing because it helps against candida, like yeast overproduction. So you want these good, healthy gut bacteria, these probiotics in your gut to help the flow and to help your body battle against overproduction of bad bacteria. So when you have a low probiotic, like if, if your body is low in probiotics you may find that you have low energy you have poor immunity like you're getting sick often you have bad digestion you may have allergies or food intolerances you could get acne um, this is where people can kind of go and say hydrochloric acid which is your acid that your stomach produces if you're low in that some people say that if you increase it their acne gets better. And this is the same way that a probiotic or digestive enzyme can help to break down your food better and to better help you with any problems that are coming up through your whole body. So when your gut health is good, your whole body's good. So you wanna keep that in mind if you're finding that you're having bad symptoms or you don't feel at the top of your game, look at your digestion and see if that there's things that you can do to improve it. Okay, so next, is digestive enzymes. It's a bit different from a probiotic because a digestive enzyme is literally the enzyme that will go in your gut and break down the food. You can buy these in capsules, in liquid forms, at the, your local health food store. Um, and there's things that you can do naturally to help increase your digestive enzyme to work better. Digestive enzymes help to break down your carbs, proteins, and fats. And if you're finding that you're, they're not digesting well, you may not be producing them as much. You may have a period of time where you overproduce them and now your body's kind of having a reduction in, in production of your digestive enzymes. And so you can find that that happens. I think that happened with me personally because I would overeat a lot. And so sometimes if you overeat, your body will produce a lot and then the next time you eat, it's not gonna have enough or it's not gonna be able to produce the same amount. Um, and I think that's what happened to me and that's what brought me to look into probiotics, digestive enzymes, and to kind of incorporate some different live foods or, or fermented foods into my diet to help with that. And it totally has. I love having a little bit of yogurt. And then also kimchi, I really, really enjoy. You can also do a sauerkraut and that really, really helps to one, break down your food, and two, improve your digestion. So if you feel like you're having stomach issues along the lines of inflammation of the stomach or the lining of your stomach is inflamed, um, ulcers and stuff like that, you don't want to go down the probiotic or at least the digestive enzyme route because they're a bit, uh, they're a bit powerful and, and they don't want to aggravate the already in, inflamed stomach lining. Does that make sense? Infections, like, girl, if you got some pain, <laughs> try introducing these things into your diet to help your body recover without taking prescription drugs and things that are just going to keep your body in an unhealthy state before you can get better. Let's get better all at the same time. <laughs> So another thing that you can try is pineapple. Pineapple actually has a digestive enzyme called bromelain in it, and it helps with anti-inflammation issues. So if you're having things like redness, inflammation, arthritis, joint pain, you can look into pineapple to actually help to reduce that. Now when you're taking it, you want to have a dosage of 500 milligrams to about 2000 milligrams, depending on what you're looking to treat, you can go to, you can just um, eat as much pineapple as you want and just get better and look great and feel great and that's awesome. <laughs>